Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you the cheapest way to bridge from Ethereum over to Arbitrum. And if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, this is the Umbria network. Uh, I've, I've done another video on the cheapest way to bridge over to Polygon and back. And you'll see here, I'm currently on the Ethereum network, the Ethereum mainnet. And what I'm going to do is all you need to do is go to the link that's got down below, umbria.network. And on the site, you'll click on bridge. And what will happen is I should have recorded this prior to doing this video. Uh, but, you know, I jumped the gun just to make sure everything worked. And what you want to do is make sure that you are bridging assets. So you'll click here where it says bridge assets. A new pop-up will come. And it'll be bridge.umbria.network slash bridge slash Ethereum minus Polygon slash ETH. And on this, you'll see here bridge ETH from Ethereum mainnet to Polygon mainnet. We don't want to do that. We want to receive it on the Avalanche or Arbitrum. So it depends on what you're trying to do in this particular one. I believe I said, okay, so we're putting this over to Arbitrum. So it originally said Polygon for me. I'm going to click on the receive on, go down to Arbitrum one. And what you'll do here is I have, I'm not going to go through this full transaction because I just did it. Uh, and you'll also see here 95 way, so that's a little more expensive than I want to pay for this. Uh, but you can keep that in mind depending on what you're comfortable with transactioning. Uh, but all you got to do is put the number you want to send. And you'll see here it will tell you approximately what you'll get. And that's, you know, the fees for the bridge and staking to pay out people who are making this possible. Uh, and you'll click send. When it pops up, it'll tell you, you know, to confirm what you're doing. So from Ethereum mainnet over to Arbitrum. And you want to confirm that that's right. Once you do, you can click on send and the pop-up will happen. And it'll give you a rough estimate of the gas price. You can go compare this with other uh, bridges and you'll see that this is probably the cheapest. For me, it's been the cheapest uh, for multiple different platforms that I'm moving from. Uh, and all you got to do next is click on confirm. And right now I'm not going to do it because the gas uh, is a little high and I just did it. So in this instance, I'm going to hit reject. But... Once you do that, once you confirm it, you're going to need to wait. It's not going to be instantaneous, so don't freak out if it's gone. Uh, it will be there. It's going to show up. It might take like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on how congested the network is. After that, what you need to do is click on your MetaMask up here, and you'll go down to the Arbitrum, and you'll see here, if I go to Assets, you may need to add WETH because it doesn't transfer directly to ETH. It transfers to wrapped Ethereum. Uh, and to do that, you can just go to you know CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko and get the exact token for WETH. Or you can go to this and then type in uh, the, whatever the token contract address is. I'm not going to do that in this instance. If you have any questions, please let me know down below and I'll do the best I can to answer them. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.